Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tuco from Music ID TV, and this is Use the News. So, I recently got a comment on a video I did about digital distribution, which pretty much said that, hey, I released some music on here, let's see how it goes. Now, I kind of think that might be a little bit of a mistake because a lot of us fall victim to the concept of releasing this music and having this whole buildup and then crossing our fingers to see what happens after we release it. So, in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about five post release strategies tips for you after you release your music. Number one, look at the data. Look at who is consuming your music, how well it's doing in a certain demographic. Look at the age, the ethnicity, the gender, what other artists they may be listening to. Try and find out who's actually responding to your music once you release it. Number two, update the target consumer information. Now, who you plan on targeting with your music may not be the audience who gravitates towards it. If that is not the case, that's just fine. But what you need to do now is update your target consumer information because now you have a little bit more information to go by rather than just theory. You got some feedback from the market and that market may be totally different from what you anticipated. So update that information. So number three, more outreach. So now you have some updated target consumer information. Now it's time to look at better ways to target that demographic. It might be through better ads that are more targeted. Now that you have some more specifics on who's actually consuming your music. And it also may be learning what platforms they discover music on, where this target consumer discovers music and try and keep pushing your already released music out on these platforms. Try to make sure you're discoverable to who you're trying to be discovered by, and that should be based off of your target consumer information. Number four, visuals. Now, we often know that a music video is accompanying a single when we release a song, but a lot of us don't have the resources to have a music video for every song that we release. Some of us might be able to pull that off, and if we can, great. If you cannot, then consider investing in the best. Try and release the music to see what song that people really connect to. Once they connect to a song, or if they connect to a song, then think about building a campaign around that song, which may include a visual which better pushes that song to the market. Now that you got some feedback, you might get a return on that investment. And number five, leveraging. Now that you might potentially have a song or some music that might be connecting to a targeted demographic, you understand who that audience is, then what you can do now is try to leverage that relationship that you have with your fans with other companies, whether it be sponsorship deals, whoever's trying to reach that target demographic, you now have a little bit of leverage to allow them to do so, kind of like the influencer status type deal, whatever you want to call it. But you might also consider trying to reach out to people who also speak to that same audience and do partnership options with them if you've yet to reach the point to where you can leverage an audience because you don't have enough reach with who that audience may be. So in closing, main thing is try not to have this huge buildup I'm going to release in three days, four days, one day, whatever, and then cross your fingers after you release your music. Really try and take these songs through the lifespan of the music. Try and take them through a full marketing campaign, whatever you can do so you can then learn for the next release. Problem is, if you don't pay attention to what happens after you release your music, you can't correct what you can do on the next release. So leave a comment below if you find yourself struggling with what to do after you release your music. And if you found any of these tips helpful, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Beyond that, be sure to share with a friend, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.